On the night of August 30, 2024, Kenya was plunged into darkness, an event that would be etched in the memories of its citizens for years to come. A nationwide power blackout, unprecedented in its scale, left millions across the country without electricity, disrupting daily life in unimaginable ways. The blackout occurred at approximately 8 p.m. local time, bringing businesses, homes, and essential services to a standstill. Streets that were once bustling with activity fell silent and dark. Initial reports from Kenya Power, the country's sole electricity provider, were limited, causing confusion and concern among citizens. The lack of information only added to the growing anxiety. As darkness descended, social media platforms lit up with reports from across the nation. People turned to their phones, seeking updates and sharing their own experiences. Kenyans from all corners shared their experiences, anxieties and questions, seeking information and solace in the digital sphere. The online community became a lifeline for many. The sudden and widespread nature of the blackout fueled speculation and amplified the feeling of uncertainty. Rumors and theories spread like wildfire, adding to the chaos. The nation held its breath, waiting for answers and a glimmer of light. In the face of adversity, the resilience and unity of the Kenyan people shone through the darkness. The blackout's impact was felt across a vast geographical area, affecting nearly every corner of the nation. From the northernmost regions to the southern tips, the power outage left millions in the dark, disrupting daily life and causing widespread concern. Major cities, including the bustling capital Nairobi, were thrown into disarray. Businesses came to a standstill, traffic lights went out, and the usually vibrant nightlife was replaced by an eerie silence. Mombasa, a vital port city on the Kenyan coast, also found itself shrouded in darkness. The port's operations were severely hampered, affecting trade and commerce. Reports emerged from towns and villages, painting a picture of a country uniformly affected by the outage. In these areas, the lack of power meant no access to water pumps, refrigeration, or communication networks. While the majority of the country grappled with the blackout, a few isolated areas reported maintaining power. These were often regions with independent power sources or backup generators. These pockets of light, however, did little to alleviate the widespread disruption. The contrast between the lit areas and the surrounding darkness highlighted the severity of the situation. The blackout's reach extended beyond urban centers, impacting rural communities reliant on electricity for essential services and communication. Farmers faced challenges in preserving their produce, and healthcare facilities struggled to operate without power. The scale of the outage underscored the country's vulnerability to such disruptions and the critical importance of a reliable power grid. It served as a stark reminder of the need for investment in infrastructure to prevent future occurrences. As hours passed and darkness persisted, Kenya Power broke their silence. In a brief statement released via their social media channels, the company acknowledged the nationwide blackout and offered an apology for the inconvenience caused. They assured the public that their technical teams were working tirelessly to identify the root cause of the outage and restore power as swiftly and safely as possible. However, the statement lacked specifics regarding the estimated time of restoration, leaving millions in the dark about when they could expect power to return. This lack of clarity fueled frustration and anxieties, particularly among those reliant on electricity for medical equipment, business operations, and other essential needs. The nation waited with bated breath, hoping for swift action and a return to normalcy. The blackout triggered a wave of reactions on social media, with Kenyans taking to platforms like Twitter and Facebook to express their frustrations, share updates, and seek information. The hashtag Kenya Blackout quickly gained traction, becoming a digital forum for citizens to voice their concerns and connect with others experiencing the outage. Many expressed anger and disappointment at the lack of communication from Kenya Power, criticizing the company's slow response and lack of transparency. Others shared stories of the challenges they faced without electricity, highlighting the impact on businesses, healthcare facilities, and daily life. The blackout served as a stark reminder of the country's dependence on a reliable power supply and the urgent need for improved infrastructure and communication during such crises. Section 5. Searching for Answers, Potential Causes of the Blackout 
While Kenya Power has yet to release an official statement confirming the cause of the outage, speculation is rife. Some experts suggest the possibility of a system-wide failure, perhaps triggered by a surge in demand or a technical malfunction at a major power generation or transmission facility. Others point to recent weather patterns, suggesting that strong winds or lightning strikes could have damaged power lines leading to the widespread outage. Kenya's aging power infrastructure, long overdue for upgrades and modernization, is also a likely contributing factor. Until a thorough investigation is conducted and findings are made public, the exact cause of the blackout remains shrouded in uncertainty. Section 6. The clock ticks on, areas still affected and ongoing efforts. As of Saturday morning, vast swaths of the country remain without power, despite Kenya Power's assurances of ongoing restoration efforts. The blackout has affected both urban and rural areas, leaving millions of residents grappling with the challenges of living without electricity. While some areas have reported a gradual return of electricity, many are still in the dark, with no clear indication of when they can expect power to be fully restored. The intermittent power supply has disrupted daily life, affecting everything from household chores to business operations. Kenya Power continues to provide updates through their social media channels, urging patients and reiterating their commitment to resolving the issue. They have been posting regular updates, sharing progress reports, and addressing public concerns to keep the affected population informed. However, the lack of a concrete timeline and the continued absence of electricity in many areas have fueled frustration and uncertainty. Residents are growing increasingly impatient as the prolonged outage disrupts their daily routines and heightens anxiety about the future. The prolonged outage underscores the vulnerability of Kenya's power grid and the urgent need for robust backup systems and faster response mechanisms to mitigate the impact of such disruptions. The situation highlights the critical importance of investing in infrastructure improvements and developing more resilient energy solutions to prevent future crises. Section 7. Life in Limbo – The Impact of the Power Outage The nationwide blackout has brought life to a standstill for millions of Kenyans. Businesses reliant on electricity have been forced to close their doors, incurring significant financial losses. Hospitals and healthcare facilities are operating on backup generators, but these are not designed for prolonged use, raising concerns about the ability to provide essential medical care. The lack of electricity has disrupted daily routines, making it impossible to cook, charge phones, or access the internet. Schools have been forced to cancel classes, 